President Biden will not be taking part in the annual presidential interview that runs before the Super Bowl, which is airing on CBS this year. The White House sort of skirting the issue, saying, quote, we hope viewers enjoy watching what they tuned in for, the game. Enter Donald Trump, never one to shy away from an opportunity like this, posting to social media today, crooked Joe Biden has just announced that he will not be doing the big Super Bowl interview, a great decision. He can't put two sentences together. I'd be happy to replace him, would be ratings gold. On Mediate.com, a site which I own, Colby Hall made the case that CBS should take Trump up on his offer, arguing, quote, there are two outcomes should CBS challenge Trump to an interview. Road one, he takes them up on the offer, faces tough questions about, say, his continued false claims of a stolen election. Road two, Trump says no to the offer, which critics would see unfavorably, but at least CBS didn't dodge the opportunity. My next guest disagrees. Joining us now is John Ziegler, host of the Death of Journalism podcast, also a former columnist for Mediate. Uh, John, good to see you. All right, so you don't think CBS makes the offer? No chance. Uh, and they can't do it because of the politics involved for them and their audience. If they did this, first of all, I think Donald Trump would jump at the chance. I don't think it's a bluff. But CBS would be tortured by the majority of its liberal-based audience because they would be seen as giving what was a presidential time slot to a guy who's no longer president. Now, from Trump's perspective, he doesn't have a leg to stand on either here because he's the one that broke this tradition. He was the one that in 2018 decided he was not going to do the Super Bowl interview anymore. So they're both at fault here. And this, I think this whole story is a tremendous indication of just how broken our politics is, how broken our media is, and how bad this Trump-Biden matchup is going to be for the country. And so, again, so you don't think that, see, putting aside whether CBS ought to do it, sorry, putting aside whether they actually do it, you don't think that they right. ought to offer it to them? Well, this whole thing was based in this tradition, which no longer really exists, which was the idea that the president of the United States does a semi-friendly interview. It's, it's important to point out, Dan, as you well know, 10 years ago, Barack Obama did an interview with Bill O'Reilly when the game was on Fox. There's no chance of that happening in this day and age. And, and by the way, they can easily replace Joe Biden with tracking Taylor Swift's journey to the stadium, and they'll get way more eyeballs <laughs> than Joe Biden would. I, I do think this is an important proxy war, though. The important issue here, this is a proxy war, what we saw today, over whether or not there's going to be general election debates between Trump and Biden. And I do not think there are going to be. I predicted on your show several months ago when we were pretending that there was a Republican primary process, that there would not be general election debates. And I think on Unless Biden is losing so much that his people are desperate, they are going to try to hide him from debates at all costs. And I think this CBS Dodge is a perfect proof of that. John Ziegler, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.